Easy, Julius. Steady, boy. of history. The story has been told time and time again. Through living examples of God's grace, sacrifice, and forgiveness. This town will never be the same. Let's go, Julius. Long way from home, little fella. Don't worry, the wolf's gone. <laughs> I think you made enough noise to scare ten of them away. <laughs> Feel free to stay. I know what it's like to be a long way from home, too. We'll be fine. You could have just said hello. <laughs> have you ever been chased by a hungry wolf? What's your name? I thought it was going to be dinner. It's Chester. Yours? Julius. So, uh, does this guy eat meat? Because he looks like a meat eater to me. Am I gonna end up on his plate? <laughs> you wouldn't be much of a meal. Yeah, I will tell that to the wolf out there. You're safe now, although I don't think we're going anywhere near the mountains. So? Is that a problem? You are a mountain goat. Well, if you want to get technical about it, but I think you've got bigger problems, pal. Uh, is he gonna make you pull that without wheels? Tell me the truth. This guy's a lunatic, right? What makes you say that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the fact that he made a sleigh out of his wagon and there isn't any snow? Trust him. Luck. That's all it was. Luck. Whatever you say. Is 
Isn't it a beautiful day? Is it? Well, I hadn't thought about it. <laughs> I guess it is. not playing with the full deck. Welcome, welcome. Sit right there by the stove. What's he doing here? Sally, get the man a cup of coffee. Isn't that what I'm doing? Oh, you got lost, didn't you, young fella? People don't pay any attention to where they're going these days. That's not quite fair, sister. Perhaps the blizzard. Nonsense. He has the look of a man who doesn't pay attention. You do. No use denying it. Could happen to anyone. I'd be glad to saddle up and ride over towards St. Clair with you. Get you back on track. I think there's been some misunderstanding. <laughs> Can't admit he's lost. But eat something first. I'll water your horse. He has a pet goat, too. A pet goat? Why, of all the foolish... If I could just explain. How on earth do you explain a pet goat? Sister, please let the man speak. Thank you. Let me clear something up. I'm not lost. The fact is, I, I intend to stay. Hey. Hey, come back. <laughs> Why? Why? Why not? Ah! Oh, man. Lucky shot. <laughs> How about that? Even luckier. <laughs> By the way, hello. Um, uh, hello? Goodbye. Uh, wait! Um, you know, when I left the mountains, this was not what I had in mind. Well, you're not going anywhere tonight. Where are we, anyway? Could it get much colder? Does the wind ever stop blowing out here? Man, you ask a lot of questions. Do you want answers, what? or do you just like Wait, to hear yourself talk? Who, who's there? Shh, quiet. <laughs> we don't get many visitors here. So, some of us don't get to practice our company manners. <laughs> Many visitors? We never get any. That's no excuse. Welcome. Where are we, exactly? 30 miles from nowhere and 16 miles from never was. Ah, uh, unfortunately, there's more than a little truth to that. Not that it can't change, but here in West Sage, we've been limping along since the railroad passed us by a few years back. <laughs> limping along? We should be so lucky. Why, just the other day, I was looking for... Shoot! The sooner you find something positive to do with yourself, the better off you'll be. Listen, do yourself a favor and hop on the first thing out of here. Don't make me come over there. Tell me about the people. That little girl. Ah, Lucy. Poor thing. She lost her mother a few years ago. A tragedy, of course. She and her father are barely holding on. They have a farm a ways out, but they live in town during the winter. I think that's good. From what I've seen, humans do better when they're near their own kind. Mr. Long! Uh, Mr. Long, wait! Ah, sweet, sweet Jane. Now there's someone Lucy could stand to be around a lot more. Hmm, and Thomas, too. And there's the reason why they don't. Jane, would you come here, please? Jane, Jane Aubrey. I don't know why her sister Maureen is so cross all the time. In my opinion, she needs someone to come along and ruffle her feathers. Come to think of it, we all could stand to have the icicle shaken out of our tree. Is that why you're here? Could be. There you go, there. This town sure could use some shaking up. You just can't shuffle into town without a ruffling a feather or two. Hoo, hoo, hoo. He's gonna set up his shop and send my livelihood to Timbuktu. What we gonna do? 
What we gonna do? I think I know before long We're gonna find he's a con He's got a wagon of tricks I like him much better gone I think I know I think I know I think I know He's gonna shake a little dust If it's a government acquisition It puts me in a bad position here in town Pack him up, move him out Bet his wagon's full of every new and fancy fangled thing. Without a doubt. <laughs> What are we gonna do? I think I'm willing to bet. Haven't seen his true colors yet. He seems so nice and sincere. He must be lost if he's here. I think I know. I think I know. I think I know. He's gonna shake a little dust. I think I know. I think I know. I think town could use some shaking up oh yeah this town sure could use some shaking up <sighs> hello boy am i hungry huh, probably nothing to eat but snow Let's see, what do we got here? What do we got? Oh, hey! Hey, 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 hey! 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 Hey, You gotta help me! Oh, please. I'm not turning. Thelma! You're a mountain goat. Jump up to the hayloft. I can't. He's ours now, girls. Watch out for horns. Woo! That's what it's about. We'll need you to eat our food. Oh, Thelma. Short, quick there, ladies. Oh, that hurts. Easy, girls. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Go on. Ought to be ashamed of yourselves. It's 12 to 1. She's mad! She's mad! In case you didn't pick up on it, the ladies don't like it when you touch their food. <sighs> Thanks. I'll remember that. You could have avoided all that by just jumping up to the hayloft. Oh, don't you think I wanted to? I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm afraid of heights. Oh. <laughs> Guess that makes it kind of tough to be a mountain goat. Uh, so instead, I'm in the middle of nowhere, reduced to playful sport for pecking poultry. <laughs> well, look at it this way. Everything's bound to be uphill from here. Oh, Thelma. Sorry, bad metaphor. Matt, if I were you, I'd duck. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Do you ever miss? <laughs> no. What's your name? Lucy. Well, I'm John Sonneman, and this here is Matt. There's one thing you should know about this fella. Oh? What's that? He can run like the wind, and he has my permission to chase you from here to the Rockies. <laughs> Here, a mountain goat. How are you doing? Ah, uh, fine. Are you ready to open your eyes? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I am. On the count of three. One, you're doing great, Chester. Two, you're a mountain goat, and you'll have this fear of heights licked in no time. Three, open your eyes. <laughs> okay, that's a start. Hello. Oh, Miss Aubrey. After all these years, maybe you could call me Jane. Jane. Thomas. You've had bad news. I'm sorry. Bad news? No, no, not at all. In fact, it's, it's good news. Very good. Jane! Jane Aubrey! Yes, sister. Excuse me, I have to find Lucy. Ladies. 
Are those muffins? Where could you possibly be going with... Oh, Jane. Yes, Maureen. I'm actually going to try and be a good neighbor. Well, at least find out everything you can about him. <laughs> a mountain goat who's afraid of heights! <laughs> oh, that's good! <laughs> you know, Rusty, one of these days, you're going to go too far. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm falling! Ah! <laughs> Come on, guys, lighten up. We're finally getting some laughs around here. <laughs> I'm falling! I like a laugh as much as anyone else. Well, then, if he wants to laugh, let's laugh. <laughs> It is good to laugh. Um, a little help here, guys? You're not afraid of heights, are you, Rusty? Welcome to West Sage. As for the people here, well, <laughs> they can be friendly. <laughs> Thank you for the muffins. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'll let you and your father get back to work. John's not my father. My parents died a while back and... Oh! Well, he's finding me a new family. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. And here I... Forgive me. You don't have to feel bad. John said he'd find someone perfect for me. And he will. You can trust John. But father, you can't marry someone you don't even know. You need a mother, Lucy. There's no getting around that. And my brother found a woman who's willing to be that for you. But, but what about love? What about... It's settled. I leave for Chicago in a few days to meet her. We'll be married there, and I'll have her back here by Christmas morning. <laughs> Is this too fast? Haha, <laughs> don't worry about me. What about me? Who ever heard of a goat pulling a sled? Come on, boy, faster, Chester. Aha! Come on, Julius. Ladies, the moon is caressing the sky, the clouds are embracing the moon, and the snowflakes are floating down just to kiss our cheeks. No, it is not a night to stay inside. That man's lost his mind. You'd better hurry, Maureen. I can't make Mr. Solomon wait forever. I refuse to leave the warmth of this house. What's more, what's more, I insist you slow this animal down to a dignified trot. No, go faster. Okay, hold on, ladies. <laughs> this is fun. Come on, Franklin. Of course, if you're too tired or worn out. Too tired? Too worn out? Why, I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you tired. <laughs> I'll show you worn out. Hey, there's three of us, but only one of you. Why, <laughs> oh, that's Whoa! the way. <laughs> Mr. you slow this thing down right now. Ah, I'm still beating you. And Miss Maureen has a good ten pounds on her sister. Ten pounds. See you later. Okay. <laughs> Come on, boy. Let's go. Come on. Come on, boy. Faster. You can do it. Hang on, Thomas. Hey. <laughs> went out to Willow Lake and back to town is the winner. You're on. Get on, Julius. 
Well? Well. <laughs> That's what I'd call an adventure. <laughs> it's been a while since... I... Maybe we could do it again. Yes, th that would be... Oh, maybe after I'm married it... Married? My brother has arranged that Lucy needs a mother. Her brother, I thought it would be best if I'm going to Chicago in the morning to get married. <gasps> oh, good night, Mr. Long. You sure you don't mind me taking your horse? Yours threw a shoe. You don't have a choice. Well, don't worry. I'll stable Julius near the depot. He'll be comfortable there till... till I get back from Chicago. I never worry about things like that, Thomas. Julius knows what he's doing, don't you, boy? I'm glad Lucy has a friend like you, Matt. If you can, cheer her up while I'm gone. After all, it's almost Christmas and... Mr. Long, Lucy doesn't want a new mother. At least not this way. That's enough, Matt. Safe journey, Thomas. Come on, Julius. Let's go, boy. Why are you letting him go? I thought you understood. I do. Hey, I thought you trusted me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You, uh, missed the big guy. Go ahead. Tease me about that, too. I've, uh, been kind of thinking. Hanging up there like I did, well, you know, being afraid of heights makes sense. I mean, one slip. Tell me about it. But there's something else. Something I was wondering if you ever thought about. Yeah? That feeling in the pit of your stomach when you're nervous, did you know that's the exact same feeling you get when you're excited? Well... So this is what I'm thinking. Maybe you're not afraid of heights. Maybe you're just real excited. I mean, me, I hate snakes. But I gotta admit, whenever I see one, I always stop and look. Of course, then I run, but... Rusty, why are you talking to me like this? Look, Thelma's right. It's easy to criticize. It's harder to do something. That's why, new pal of mine, I'm going to help you overcome your fear of heights. Nervous and excited are the same feeling. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, am I off the ground yet? I am, aren't I? Hey, how far? No, no, don't tell me. Relax, pal. You're doing great. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm... Oh, whoa. Hey, am I swaying? No, it's an optical illusion. Rusty, how can you have an optical illusion when you're blindfolded? I said relax. Uh, Rusty, I'm thinking maybe we should take this in stages. Hey, trust me. Hi. He's after our food, girl. Let's get him! Hey, you amazing fun! Rusty, uh, Rusty! Duh, Rusty! So how do you take him a lesson? Do we eat his food? No! We don't even eat his fleas! Huh? Whoa! Hey, 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 take it easy! 
meat eater. I don't even like chicken feet. Did you hear that? We're next. <laughs> we can be meat eaters too. Jab and tap, girls. Jab and tap. Bust the bleeds. I think I'm gonna be sick. Hang tight, Jester. Ladies, we're not ladies. <laughs> we're all animals. You may fuck us up before you. Bust it. It's a wonder I can walk at all today. Well, I have a few things to say to Mr. John Simon. Ever since he came here, he's turned this town upside down. What on earth? Keep a surprise? Oh, yes. Oh, I know I can. Good. This is for you. Who'd have thought that a lonely town like ours would have something so... so wonderful? Well, when you're lonely or sad, isn't that the exact time that you need something wonderful? Yes, but it seems like it's been so long that... that... And you thought nothing wonderful would ever happen again? Lucy, there's really no way to get around sadness or loneliness. You just have to go through it. But on the other side, well, let's just wait and see. My father says you smile as if you know something the rest of us don't. Your father's right. <laughs> One more, the best for last. A Christmas present. Oh, how beautiful. What does it remind you of? This 
Is that what it's supposed to be? Mm-hmm. It's a candy cane. It's almost too pretty to eat. <laughs> almost. Mmm. Peppermint. But everyone knows peppermint is green. Or sometimes pink. But never red. This is something new. Why does it have to be red? Sometimes different colors mean different things. Do you know what a symbol is, Lucy? That's when something stands for something else. Oh, the red means something. Yes. Something happy? Well, like most Christmas stories, it turned out happy. When I look at this, I see so many things. I see a bright star, shepherds, angels, a mother singing a lullaby, a baby who grew up and chose to go through a sad time to suffer and die because, well, because he cares for us. And I see our happiness because he made that choice. Did he stay sad? No, which is what I want you to remember when you eat that. You see, if you keep licking it, the red stripes will go away. Just like his sadness. <gasps> Look! There you go. You know, my grandmother's mother lived all the way on the other side of the ocean. When she was a little girl and she went to church at Christmas, the choir master always gave her a candy cane to remind her of the shepherds. And to keep her quiet, they say she was quite a little chatterbox. I never talk in church. Good for you. Well, almost never. Of course, her candy cane was plain sugar. It wasn't until, oh, right around when I was a boy that someone added the peppermint. And then only a few years ago, someone decided to add the red stripes. To remind us of his sadness. We all go through hard times, Lucy. But sometimes happiness and sadness are this close together. That's something else you can think about as the red disappears. I will. And maybe this too. Another reminder of Jesus. Down through the ages of time, the stories unwind. Aubrey. Oh, Jane has run off because she decided she's in love with him. Because you kept pushing them together. Come on, we've got to find her. Jane! 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 I don't think so. She is down there. 
I hear something. No. Tell them, Rusty, quick! <coughs> Thomas! <coughs> Wait! Huh? Jake! You're not going to believe this. What? What am I not going to believe? There's a wolf down there. Oh, no. Is he gray with um, uh, one yellow eye and a black patch on his back? How would I know? I have great hearing. If you want someone with great sight, find a hawk. Oh, it's got to be him. The one who was after me before. Oh, they have to get her out of there. Tell them. I'm going down there. No, you can't. I'm going down. Won't be pretty. Pauline, leave that alone. Oh, why it was tying knots before you were born. Not that I'm that much older than you. <gasps> no! Ah! No! Chester, get down there. What? You have to get that rope and bring it up. Are you out of your mind? Usually, yes. This time, uh, no. Have I mentioned that I'm afraid of fights? And wolves? By the way, that whole nervous is excited thing of yours, Rusty, that's really not working for me right now. Oh, what have I done? Chester, this is the real deal. You gotta push through this, buddy. They need you. I'm not scared. I'm excited. On the count of three. No, four. Let's do four. One, just do what comes naturally. Two. Solomon. We're counting on you, little guy. Up you go. You can do it. Okay. I can do this. You can do this, Chester. That's it. Baby steps. I did it, huh, Rusty? Yes. Hey, Chester, you're a hero. <laughs> you're not mad at me, are you, pal? Chester? Jay. I never made it. I missed the train. You know, Rusty, I've been thinking. Come the spring, we're going to have to work on your fear of snakes. Huh? I've always found Christmas an odd combination of sacrifice and forgiveness, death and life, sadness and joy. But they're almost two sides of the same coin. Take the stripes of this candy cane, for example. Sadness over joy. As the red disappears, the white shines out brightly. The Christmas star is brighter than the darkness in any of our nights. As quietly as he can, John Solomon rides out of the town of West Sage. 
leaving behind a new candy store, a marriage for Thomas and Jane, a new family for Matt and Lucy, and a new life for all that have crossed his path. Thank you.